Hey yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy King J Two Times, and we back on the Walking Dead. Let's get into it, brother. Let's get into it. Some simple, some light, some light. Starve for help. Episode two. Ooh, you know. Let's get into it, man. Previously on the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Pay attention, my nigga. Yup, yup. Little recap, little You've recap. Been all by yourself through this? Yeah. Yep, she was I thugging want it my out. She come home nigga. now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. I don't even think he had your name. But she did call me Doug. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, sir. RP that nigga does. My bad. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You watch your ass, nigga. You, you wash it. Nigga. Watch that shit. Nigga! <laughs> Three months later, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting to it. Man! <laughs> Oh boy, Lee dripped out. Okay, Lee. Well, Lee got. Who is this? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. Mm, stop trying to steal, nigga. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Well, manage. Gotta ask Lily. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I'll worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for and they're safest in a big group going out on his own will get them all killed can't blame him though did you hear larry going off on him last night what's the old guy's deal anyway seems like he's got a problem with you in particular man fuck larry Ooh, old racist asshole who knows what larry's problem is maybe that's just the way he is but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. That nigga definitely hit me in my shit, bro. Bitch ass dude. Oh, why Lee ain't dude? Hey, listen, you give me a chance, let me get his ass gone. Can you make the shot? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Watch you finna miss. You from? You're terrible, bro. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Let's go. 
we're not gonna miss off the fact that this nigga missed. If I thought I was gonna miss, I wouldn't shoot. Then you missed. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is We're there not gonna a bear hurt trap you. out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. Buddy, if I said I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not gonna Can't hurt you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck Thank up. Thank you. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. <laughs> not our problem. I ain't gotta get him out of there. Let's get him out. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, them niggas finna start pulling up. Lee, this <laughs> trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. <sighs> Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please. Bro, help the man, Get bro. The I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do you like Mark, that, bro. Get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, oh, we go for the leg. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Oh, bro, it gotta go! Oh my god! Hey, motherfucker, gotta go, man! Let's go, let's go! Hey, motherfucker, gotta go, man! Oh, oh! One more time! Lee, it has to be now! One more time! Oh Shit. Is he? He passed out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Oh, let's get up out of here, man. I don't really know why y'all panicking like that. Like them niggas running or something. This ain't 28 days later. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. Ah! Bro, run. Are you dead ass? Wow. No! Wow. This nigga let some niggas that's walking just kill him, bro. That's tough, bro. That's real tough, bro. RP Lil Bro. That motherfucker is bored, but I don't blame him. We got Lily. How you doing, baby? It's us, man. Chill out. Ah, oh, damn! I was finna say that she gonna stop. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking exactly. minute? Exactly. No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. 
Well, that was a stupid Maybe thing to do. Thing we are Why not we responsible this for every bro? struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just exactly. like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Wow. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. It don't matter now who's that it's running in charge. Out, suddenly, I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Bro, Dad, shut your old ass Why don't up, you bro? go help Mark with the wall? Exactly, go do something with your life, nigga. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have four food items for 10 hungry people. Damn. Look, why y'all looking at me like that? You know I gotta take. Hey, I gotta take care of Clem. You feel me? I'm gonna take care of the kids first. I right, we gonna we gonna get lit. Watch, watch. I don't know what y'all looking at me for. Most of y'all niggas ain't getting none. Nope, you ain't getting none. Can I give him? I can give old man. I can give bro. I want to give it to bro, but that nigga passed out. God damn. Okay, so off the rip. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? I got you. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I Dang. promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. We got you, look, Thank Clem. you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. See, okay, get Clem. Clem gotta eat. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Half an apple, piece of jerky. Uh, give the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Give Douglas some, some. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Uh... Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! You feel me? You gotta take care of the kids, you know? Now, I, I gave your son some, you feel me? I ain't even gonna... When the last time you ate, bro? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. No cow. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. 
We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up? How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. You did all you could. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Okay, so, where Lily at? You ain't getting nothing, my boy. I'm a, we can talk, though. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Hmm. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a True. group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. It's tough, my boy. It's tough. I'm thinking about, like, he a kid, too, you feel me? He might be a little stressed out. Homie just died, you know? Sturdy. But it's not gonna hold up forever. Right. Just like the rest of this place. Well, Lily go, though. We dug through those for food a long time ago. You know what? No, see, no. Keep it a bang with you? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. See, they gonna toast that in and make me feel bad. You know, I got you, Brody. Cause this nigga being an Ooh, asshole, bro. I got you. Give me a piece of jerky. Take this jerky, Brody. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Nigga, give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the Nigga, axe? Nigga, fuck you. Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Keep it for yourself. Now I'ma save it. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Knowing damn well in real life, I would've ate it. Oh, fuck. So right now, okay, it's between Carly and Ben. Now, now Carly, Carly is a woman, so she might, she, she might need that shit, baby. But Ben is a kid. I'm gonna give it to Carly. Carly, it's my second time. Want something to eat? You hungry? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but you don't owe me anything, Carly. So she wanted me to keep it. Wow. Here go this wow. I'm gonna give it to Lily. Here. I don't want anything from you. Bitch. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. That's cool. You're out! 
What happened to my food? Nigga, you ain't getting There's none. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. That's because he's gonna leave it. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. So he did. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh! Come on, huh? What's going on? That nigga turned quick. Shit, it's stuck. I should have gave this shit to Larry. Get back. Get, get your punk ass back, nigga. Get back, bro. Get back. I should have gave it to Larry, bro. That's what I get. Come on, man. I'm like that. Shoot it! Carly, hey, Carly really just came up gangsta. Okay, Carly. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say he a wasn't goddamn bitten. word. He just died. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back oh, off! Chill out, Carly. Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. Hmm. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Scared. We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay, Carly. Right so, uh, about. What are y'all thinking? No deal. We'll go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry. 
Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? Now is not now the time. Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder like if you should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I really don't. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Oh, uh, Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? They all know. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Whoa. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck Ooh. you! Oh my god! Jesus! Asshole! He just shot that nigga out! Oh, here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. That's tough. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Mm. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Calm down, well, brother. How about this? 
Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. He getting a little bit, he, he a little bit too oh, man, forward though. Fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Facts. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Mm, pointy. Nigga said, mm, pointy. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Oh no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. 
sounds easy enough. See, I don't, don't want to be too Never trusting, know. bro. I don't want to be too trusting. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing it what decent. they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes okay. down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. And the fence messed up too. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. I don't think you're supposed to your hands right though. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping hey, me on hey, my too. feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> happened the fences are on why the hell would he turn the fence on he knows we're out here what the get to the gate it's probably the bandit get down you asshole jesus we had an agreement now you're fucked who the fuck is that no idea fuck now what with the fence on that gate it's our only way out Push it, bro. Give us the food. Get it out of forever. Get down. Ah, fuck me. Hurry up. Bitches up. You're meeting out. What about our arrangement? You didn't deliver the food. I already got one of you. Now we're going to take one. Oh. Oh, 
no fuel. Of course. You think I can't see you? I see you. We don't know you. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Oh, I'm supposed to do, bro. I already got one of you. He said, I already got one of you. Uh. You asked the most to die. Lee, leave the fuck alone. I see you. You asked the most to die. Bro, it's not moving, bro. Give it some food. Something's still blocking it. What's blocking it, bro? Oh, I see it. Wait, yeah. What about our right, go. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, they're on the move. Shit, that hurts. Get closer. You got lucky, that guy. You ain't thinking of fucking that. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Over there! Give us the food! Give us the food! Now there you are, boy! Okay. Uh, Did you really think you were fucking out? Going? Shit! Oh, really? There's another one. Oh, my God, bro. We got time for this. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Can't lure me over. Goodbye, bro. Come on out. You're not even walking, bro. Did you really think you were fucking us? I am. I am. Smack it, man. Let's, Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Time, Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Okay. Okay. Country Boy is trying to get into it. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. 
take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us Look thrown out this, before nigga. we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of there my you know. ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Are you though? I still don't know. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Nigga, I know. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Let's check this cow out, though. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. We'll go in, though. If there's not enough room Come on, in the nigga, house for I all didn't of click us, it I guess a talk. few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. True. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. Don't mind that, y'all. I don't know what the hell that was. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I just know that. ignore that, that but please. he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter you and hateful, me, but that's baby. all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Man, Lily, I'm just trying to fuck. That's how that is. The arrangement with them was a good idea? Well, I'd like to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh... You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. 
Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Quaint. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. All right, let's go talk to Brody. Let's see what's up with these damn bandies. These damn banditos. Check on Clem. Where Clem at? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I hope so. Not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky. I hope there. so. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Let's go ahead go. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Stay away from that damn fence, Clementine. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? Sean got up in here. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Nothing. 
nobody. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Niggas was taken from Save a Lot, okay. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Gas. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Dairy box. boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. It ain't open though. That it? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's Obviously, we don't know who was inside, bro. Looks like they expected to be here a while. It's hot. Just water. But it's steaming though. Nothing. Look like something. Empty. Okay, bro. Why is it an option? A camera? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Good. Let's see if we can find anything useful in there. Why that you say good? Room. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Yuck, I don't need that. Bro, didn't I look at everything? Looks like they be here to while. be here. Yeah, while. I know. Ah, oh, man. Something happened. Let's come to tie a hat. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. You steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Well, Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. 
But it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. What? They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take she what they tripping. want and destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Where did you get Take this a hat? little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. She said, Bring him up yeah, on that tree. Right through him. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. What you mean so, a waste? That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I don't think... Some, some ain't right. With these niggas at the dairy, bro. Something ain't right. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. You welcome. You welcome. Go ahead, go get Clem our hat. I'm still wondering why this bitch had it though, bro. Like, that's weird. How the fuck she get the hat?
It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Think of my nigga Lee like Patrick a father, says Mabel bro. could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, little bit. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I'm trying to see what's popping with this dinner, man. Salt lick. Empty. Another salty. Whoa. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Might be a little sign. Just some fence posts. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Closey. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Nasty ass old man. Trying to get him some butt. Hold on, Carly back there. Carly might want to have a little car. Not Carly, uh, Lily. Lily! Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. 
She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the Motor Inn, where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, shop man. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you wanna know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, my they boys. can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Yeah, she getting to look like one of those, bro. I want to get to the meal. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself dawn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. Hmm. But your mama just said you're not tough. That's that's something. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. That was just creepy, bro. All fixed. That should make everyone happy.
They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. My nigga really said, mmm, pointy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Okay, what you doing with that, Lee? If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. What's on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Ah, damn, bitch, hurry up. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. She looks skinny. She looks skinny. He's gonna say the same shit. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. You found it too, huh? Hmm. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Mm. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, Black. urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. 
Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Just track Andy to get him out of the barn. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay, y'all. So we're going to do that in the next gameplay. I hope y'all enjoying this, man. We're going to see what's behind that door, most definitely. Most definitely. Man. But if you made it all the way to the end, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, come on now. All that share with your friends. We getting lit tonight. All up in it. On phone now. We go.